And we're going to show you these uh, latest pictures, uh, which are BBC pictures from an aerial camera, I'm told. And we're watching this for the first time as you are. Now that would appear to be the actual car as it crashes into the barriers outside the House of Lords. I wonder if we can see that again. So these are new BBC pictures, aerial footage. You can see again highlighted the silver Ford Fiesta. going across two roads and then down into that particular channel towards the House of Lords where it then crashes into the barrier. Let's just see that one more time. There's the Ford Fiesta, driven we now know by a man in his late 20s who's been arrested on suspicion of terrorism offences. And originally it looked as though the Ford Fiesta was going to go round Parliament Square, then it crossed over, didn't it? And went down that small road towards the House of Lords. June Kelly, your reaction to that? Well, it does seem extraordinary because you thinking, you're trying to sort of think what the driver's trying to achieve here. We know obviously he is now being held as a terrorist suspect. Clearly, driving down there, he was not going to get that far. And uh, you know, he, he was stopped, as we can see. I mean, it is astonishing to be able to see the whole incident, mm. isn't it, now? Um, and we get a real sense now of what he did. But he's gone right into that very secure area. And in terms of what his intentions were, in terms of harming people, uh, causing panic, uh, well, obviously, any incident like this does cause panic and there's a degree of mayhem goes on, but it, it seems a strange thing to do. In terms, of, in terms of you are attempting to uh, harm people, you wouldn't have thought that was the way to do it. But, I mean, you know, who knows what's going through somebody's mind when they're in this particular frame of mind. And there's the, uh, the vehicle having crashed into those barriers. Uh, extraordinary to see those, the actual moment the car crosses over the road and into that channel where it then ended up at the barriers.